This is Jen. And this is Chris. And this is Spellbound Adventures. Hey everyone, today we want to talk about the accessibility to the park, specifically in Islands of Adventure. We've already covered a studios in a previous video, so check that down in the description to watch. Now, please also leave a comment below if you would like more information on this, because we can talk about the hotels, pool access, and city walk if there's any interest in that. There's just a lot of information, so we want to do separate videos for those things. Uh, we'll also be posting the link to the Universal Orlando Resort Guide for uh, rider safety and accessibility for even more information. Yes. So. As we mentioned in our studios video, uh, guests uh, with any disability or require any type of specific accommodation, such as being on the spectrum, um, having visibility, sorry, not visibility issues, <laughs> all, all that, I think that's solved with a bright shirt, uh, vision <laughs> issues, uh, hearing, wheelchair, or any type of mobility, service animals, sense, you know, sensory, I mean, we could go on for a while. I don't want anybody to feel like they're excluded. It's just a very long list. Mm -hmm. um, Universal Studios uh, is now taking part with IBCCES uh, individually individual accessibility card. Now, we talked about that in our previous video um, mm -hmm. in relation to studios, but this card is actually not just for studios. It's not like a studio specific Correct. card. Correct. It's for any theme park, actually. Yes, so um, you're going to want to, if you have any needs for special accommodations, you're going to want to look into this card because it also works at SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, uh, mm -hmm. Disney. Um, so again, you're going to want to get everything to Universal Studios at least 48 hours in advance, and this will help you ensure the most enjoyable day at the park and plan where plans need to be had. Um, please note that IBCCES can only issue the card, which we'll continue to refer to as IAC for the rest of this video. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not from Universal Studios. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. Um, the card is free, it's valid for one year, uh, but you do have to, like my eyeglass pre prescription, mm -hmm. needs to be updated annually. Right, exactly. Um, but so, super important, go ahead and ch check that out and you want to do that before you get to the parks, any park that you're going to. Okay, so this may sound a little bit like a repeat if you watch the other video, uh, but just remember the IAC will allow the guests of the park to schedule return time to the ride you wish to go on that is comparable to the wait time. So what this means is that if you have those special needs and you have the IAC, you don't have to stand in a long queue line, and which is really important, especially if you're just not able to do that. Um, so you don't need to wait in the queue and you can enjoy other attractions in the park during that time period. So please keep in mind that guests can only have one active return time at a time. So you can't be loading up the whole day with rides as soon as you wake up in the morning. We're, we're not doing, as we said before, it's not Genie Plus. <laughs> you don't get to have unlimited express. <laughs> no, but if you were to go to Hagrid's, for example, and it's a 75 minute wait, they'll tell you to come back in 75 minutes and then they'll escort you down to where the loading area is to get you on the ride. Right. Um, so, I th and I think that's really important for people to know. Yeah, it is. It, like, keep in mind, if you need to use a wheelchair and electric car, you do not, uh, and you don't feel like bringing your own, as we mentioned before in another video, you can always rent one at the parks. Um, those supplies are available, obviously, uh, unless they run out, but I don't know if they ever do that. I've always felt um, like they've been there. The only issue that I think we've ever run into or encountered is um, they do run on a battery. That's true. So they only last so long. And if they have one for you to swap, they will swap for you mm -hmm. uh, into, into another cart. Uh, but if they don't, you're just going to have to wait till it recharges. Right. So just to, as a reminder, you rent those at the very front of the park. So as soon as you enter. Yep. So let's get to talking about the rides because uh, I like talking about rides. <laughs> uh, so to keep it simple, we broke it basically down into two categories categories just like the first video we've got uh, full access and then limited access so full access would be rides where you can just you don't even have to transfer you can just stay in your car cart or wheelchair and just go right on the ride mm -hmm. um, and then limited access is where you would actually have to be able to transfer so full support rides would be um, Camp Jurassic uh, the Carol Sussel 
I can never say that properly. Uh, the Cat in the Hat ride, Hogwarts Express, uh, Hogmeade Station. Um, we've got the Jurassic Park Discovery Center, uh, the uh, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. I love that book as a kid. I know. I'm a little thing. <laughs> and then uh, Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Um, all of these you can just remain in your chair and you do not need to transfer. Right. So now to talk about limited support rides, uh, and remember this is where you actually have to transfer yourself, and uh, just keep in mind, as, as mentioned in the previous video, team members and staff cannot aid in the assistance of transferring you for safety reasons, obviously. So you want to make sure that you have some, if you need someone to help assist you with transfer, please have somebody in your party who can do that. Um, if not, you would need to be able to transfer yourself. Uh, so getting back into the rides. So the limited support rides where you have to transfer is we have Dudley do Rides, Ripsaw Falls. We have Flight of the Hippogriff. We have Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. My favorite. <laughs> we have Harry Potter, The Forbidden Journey. Uh, we have the High in the Sky uh, Seuss Trolley Train Ride. We have Jurassic Park River Adventure. We have Jurassic World I mean, Velocicoaster. So don't forget, there are roller coasters that you can do even if you're in a wheelchair. It, as long as you can transfer yourself, you can do them. Um, we have Popeye and Bluto's Bilge Rat Barge, and we have Stormform Acceleration. Now, also mentioned in the previous video, you do have to be able to sit upright because most of these either have some form of like a lap restraint or some form of a harness, but you have to be able to keep yourself upright. You know, that, that is really important so that you're safe in the ride. Yeah. and. and I think we should sort of touch on the fact that while it does say limited support, if you take something like Dudley do Right rips off alls, um, now granted I'm not the thinnest individual in the world, but getting in and out of that ride is a chore. Um, so if you have any type of mobility issue, I think you're going to find the process fairly frustrating. Um, but when you have other things like Kong or even Spider-Man, it, it's a process, but it is doable with relative ease. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think most people will find that for things like Ripsaw Falls, where you've got this little tiny log that you're trying to, to scoot in and get your legs all straight. So It's true. Yeah. I guess if you're five feet tall and you weigh 90 pounds, it's not challenging. Yeah, so in other words, <laughs> it's perfect for our daughter, who's a little twig. Um, yeah. I mean, as with like any ride, sometimes there can be, it doesn't matter if you're in a wheelchair or not, if you have mobility issues, you have to look at each ride individually. So if you have somebody in your party who does have a, a disability that can affect what rides they go on, do your homework first. And we've talked about it before, please call Universal. I know you're going to link that number below. They will work with you. So please don't think like you're alone in this. You're not. They will work with you. And Universal Studios has some very patient people. Um, yes. They are there to make sure that you have the experience that you hope you do. And please, if for some reason things don't measure up, go to guest services and let them know. Mm -hmm. um, they, it's been our experience that they are committed to doing the best job they possibly can. Um, so if they have an opportunity to make it right, please go to guest services, tell them what what happened and give them an opportunity to fix it or compensate you some way. And usually it's in the form of express passes or Ruby passes. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit that bell notification to be alerted for our next video comes out. Uh, <laughs> in the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay healthy, be blessed, and we're going to see you guys at the parks. Bye. Bye.